Greetings and salutations everyone, I am as always Darth Devious, bringing you another video review. This time I've got the Sinestro Corps Batman from the DC Universe Classics line. And this Batman is from the Sinestro Corps War comics from Green Lantern. So that's pretty cool because it combines two of my favorite things, Batman and the Green Lantern Corps. Can't go wrong there. Has a collector's button right there. Some warnings, you know, not suitable for children under four years old, sharp parts, stuff like that. Choking hazard, so you don't put uh, his weapon in your mouth, you know. Now, this is, you know, he's got this nice biography. Somebody took the time to write it all up, and then they've got this yellow lantern core symbol burning over it, so you can't even read it. So I don't know what to tell you. You see the other figures that were in the wave. Now, if I actually w did want any of these figures from this wave, it'd probably be just the Mar Martian Manhunter. I wouldn't want any of these others. Certainly don't want this uh, build figure. Uh, I didn't get it for that. I got this because, you know, I'm a Batman fan, and this yellow lantern Batman looks really cool. So I'm going to get him out of here, and we'll take a quicker look at him. Be right back. Okay, so here we have the Yellow Lantern Batman out of his package. Looking kind of cool here. And I like the yellow, the Sinestro Core logo there and on his armband here. Nice pliable cape. Yeah, he's got his ring. Really mean face. But if there was one hero in the DC Universe who would really make a good Yellow Lantern, it'd be Batman. That's why the yellow ring chose him. Because, um, of course, his whole M.O. is fear for the criminals. So he's got some good posability. You know, he's got, you know, joints up here in his arms. His upper arms. He's swiveled there. Nice elbow. Swivels at his wrists. Heads on a slight ball joint, though you don't get too much up and down, but you get some nice side to side. He's got an ab crunch, waist, upper thighs move really nicely. He's got a cut there. Now, on this one, he's got two left knees. So, this doesn't quite line up right, and it doesn't affect his posability any, but it just looks odd. That's okay. And he's got posability in the ankles. Really good knee joint. And just, you know, despite his fact that he's got two left knees. So he won't make a good dancer, but he could still be a good crime fighter. I guess. So he's really cool. I like him. Despite that one flaw, I like him. He's got this weapon that he came with, you know. Yellow lantern, batarang. So it slips over his hand. Uh, it's supposed to slip over his hand. Yes, no. You don't want to stay. It doesn't want to stay. It's not important. Eh, we'll try the other hand. Won't stay on that one. No, won't stay on that one either. Oh well. Still. It's pretty cool looking, but it's not why I got the figure. I got the figure because he looks cool. And here's the button it came with. A little yellow lantern Batman on there. DC Comics 75 on the back. That's pretty cool. Build a figure section, the whole upper torso. Don't need it. Anybody needs this, send me a message. I'll send it off to you. I don't need it. So, I doubt anybody needs this, but just in case, thought I'd ask. So, yeah. Can't complain, you know, because as I said, it combines the, two of my favorite things, you know, Batman and the Green Lantern Corps, even though he's Sinestro Corps here. So, that's pretty cool. So, I mean, if you see these, I know these some of these are fi figures are a lot older now, and hard to get a hold of but if you see it I got this at a toy show didn't pay that much for it so that's why I'm not complaining about anything 
So that's going to be it for this one. Just a quick look at this Batman figure. So as always, all you be good or he's joining your nightmares. You superstitious cowardly lot.